Ni hao. Wo jiao Arnold. Wo shi lao shi. Or I could say, hello, I am Arnold and I'm a teacher here at Lika Shu. Today, I will be giving a presentation on classroom activities and extra materials that I add in my classes. This PowerPoint presentation will consist of four points. Discussion-based activities, role-play activities, concept-checking questions and sentence construction activities, and lastly, the additional materials that I add to my classes. Enjoy! Firstly, discussion activities. I love adding discussion activities to my classroom. This gives our students a great way to practice the vocabulary they have just learned. A few things to consider. Number one, act as the conductor in a group discussion. Our job is to listen and guide the discussion in the direction you want it to follow. Number two, take notes of student interactions. It is really important for us to give good and effective feedback directly after a discussion activity. Take notes to help you remember where to correct students. That brings me to point number three. We need to listen attentively to our students. It is really difficult to give accurate feedback if we were not listening. Number four, transition between students. Allow for a smooth transition between different students in a class discussion. This keeps students engaged and it prevents boredom. Secondly, role play activities. I love adding role play activities to my classes because they are a great way for our students to immediately and flexibly practice what we have just learned. To have a successful role play activity, prior explanation is vital. Make sure each student clearly understands their role before starting. Secondly, know when to interject. Sometimes our students may face some troubles in a role play activity. It's okay to help them and to show them the words and expressions you would like them to use. This brings me to the key points to pay attention to. Prior to starting the role play, show your students which new words and expressions you want them to focus on. Last but not least, remember your student correction. Thirdly, I like to add concept checking, sentence construction and comprehension questions to all my classes. When asking students to create sentences to check the, their vocabulary understanding, make sure you type the sentence out, show them their mistakes and correct them in good time. Secondly, try to involve the whole class. Often, one student would make a sentence and I would refer back to another student to give me an explanation or answer a question about that newly created sentence. Number three, ensure the student's understanding during a wordful or other vocabulary practice exercise and make sure they haven't simply added the correct word. Number four, concept checking questions are your friend. Use them regularly to make sure your students understand and are engaged in your classroom. Lastly, I like to add some extra class materials to make my classes a little bit more engaging. I usually add five additional vocabulary words. I add some extra images related to the topic. Sometimes I will send my students some extra web resources to do some uh, further reading related to the topic. And I always include a class format to talk through before the lesson begins. Thanks for watching my short presentation. Zai Jan!